Alright, I have an iPhone 10 here, and I am going to try to take off this middle ring here. Um, looks like the top side is probably using low melt solder, low melt solder paste, and I don't, I don't know if anybody knows the exact composition of whatever metal they're using, but it's probably going to be some sort of variation of uh, bismuth. So, low, the low melt solder paste that we normally use is tin bismuth. So it's like SB. What is it? SB sixty. I don't even. I'm not even exactly sure what it is, but it's tin bismuth. Okay, and we just got this paste right here. Um, and it also does not say what it is. So this is this is what we have right here. Sunshine something X whatever. It's supposed to be a variation of low melt solder paste. Okay, but anyways, that's that's not the the thing right now. Um, so I have this little unit right here. This thing is really hot. Um, it's called the PPD 120. You can find it on AliExpress. Um, anyways, you can go through our website and you can check it out. But I've already disassembled these two boards, okay, but there's still a ring on here, which I'm going to try to remove, and I, I've never done it before, so I don't know how long it's going to take or, you know, how high, how hot it needs to be, but I'm at 130 degrees Celsius right here on, on my little preheater, and uh, I'm going to see if I can figure out how to get this mother off without jacking it up too much, so... I'm gonna get my <clears throat> hot air station at a 416, 416 at an airflow of uh, 17. So, so I can do this under the scope or whatever it is. So this is just the iCloud lock board. So I'm not, I'm not too concerned about this one. But you know, before I do it on a real one, I really want to make sure I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess anything up because there's no going back afterwards. All right. So I guess maybe you know what I do have this little contraption here that uh, where is it at? Right, hold on a second. Now I have this little contraption that connects to my uh, my quick, I believe. Let me see if this works. Alright, so let's see if this works here. <laughs> uh, it doesn't even fit, so you guys will have to kind of, let's see, how does this work? Like this? Like this? <laughs> this is ridiculous. That's 402 degrees. I don't even know if it's working or not. Um, let me let me move these out of the way. Ah, that's hot. Woo! That is a hot as a mother. So I don't know. I have no idea what's going on here. How how in the hell must they get this off? Whoa, Nelly. Well, they just popped off. That's not good. I really don't want to pop this to pop off, that's for sure. So maybe if I just go like... The low melt is definitely like melted. But I don't know about this other... Oh, hold on a second. Well, no. Alright, let me put this back for a second. Ugh. Alright, um... I don't know what's going on here, but this board is not even up anymore. It's like not even seated properly. And it's really hot. Okay, let's put this back first and foremost. I can't tell if this is like like melting at all. Like I can't tell if it's I can see the low melt is definitely like melted, but this bottom layer I'm not so sure about. But it's also kind of like pointed up a little bit, so I don't really know what's going on here. 
It's like kind of warped up. I really want this to hold in place. Maybe. Anyways, I don't know how this works. Um, I'm just going to use my other iron. And then I think I'm just going to do it slowly, one corner. And then just kind of go around. Maybe. The top layer just kind of, it kind of popped off with, with like basically nothing, like no effort. So I'm assuming that we're using lead free on the bottom here. That's my guess. Alright, it's kind of coming now. I mean, I can't imagine the work that's going to require to put both of these rings back. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm thinking maybe it's going to be data rec Like, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. But I know that it's definitely not going to be easy to repair these things for certain. For certain, it's not going to be easy, my friend. Don't see any easy way to do this, man. And then, you know, how many pads are going to be ripped in the making of this? All right, let me go back to my little tool over here real quick. You know, that's assuming I don't jack up any ICs as I'm lifting here <laughs> with all this heat. All right, let's go back to this mother. This mamma jamma which I don't know how to use <laughs> I guess I could go a little hotter on my um, my preheater too maybe Alright, so that popped up. So I'm at 400 degrees on this bad boy. <laughs> 402 degrees, and I'm using the quick 857. 957, I mean. So, let's see what kind of damage we caused. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Well, you see the little beads of solder here? I mean, that, that could cause some issues right there. So, I don't know. Maybe we can cap on it or something. Too many little beads of solder. Okay, so there, right there. Ah, oh, man, oh man. Uh, it doesn't look horrible. I mean, that doesn't look horrible. This all looks good. Eh, it doesn't look too bad. Alright, so that doesn't look too bad. Um, this thing is like just piping hot though, probably, so let's, let's see if we can get this off real quick. Let's see what it looks like on the bottom. Alright. Oh, well, there's nothing on the bottom. Okay, so anyways. This is what it looks like. Maybe I can turn it to my scope so you guys can't really see well you you didn't see what I did saw earlier but you see the little beads of solder here I mean it's not awful but phone call alright so I don't know really know where I left off but I didn't really mess up any pads or anything I think one pad pulled which would be this one right here so let's take a look at it see if it's um, important or not See, it'd be like right here. So it'd be like right here. Okay, so it'd be like right here. That pad right there. Let's see if that pad's important or not. Hmm.
So it has the dots. Let's see. Okay, so it would be like this one. So that's NC. Okay, so that's not a big deal. Okay. So I don't know. I mean, I mean, it looks all right. It it wasn't too bad. I think maybe I can. Yeah, I think this will be fine actually. So I think what I can probably do is just pop pop it off and sandwich it, and then do data recovery off of that way. So, all right. So I guess that's I don't know. I mean, I don't know if this helped anybody, but actually, this chip right here is jacked up. So be careful with that. The hell? Is there a component underneath this chip? Okay, so that's a that's a problem. <laughs> so that's definitely a problem. So, oh, okay, so this whole chip moved over. It looks like. Uh, so that's what I was afraid of. Um, thankfully, I don't think it's gonna be too hard to put that chip back. But even still. You know, you don't want to have to be reballing chips when you remove these things, right? Definitely don't have to do that. And then, like, these are of concern as well. So maybe I'll cap on it or something. I'm not really sure um, what the best way of doing it is. But everything else looks pretty good, minus this one chip right here. Which I don't even think I was heating it from over there. I think I was, maybe I was heating it from over there. But this one definitely, like, needs to be moved back over. So let's just take this off real quick. I probably I I don't even know if I'll put it back or not because like this is just the iCloud lock board. This is probably a Wi-Fi deal, anyways. But, you know, I don't know if we're going to be able to offer, <laughs> I really don't know if we're going to be able to offer, like, uh, a fix. Okay, this is not too bad. Okay, I might have to tin that, unfortunately. But I might not even have to reball it. I th I think I'm just gonna go with it like this, yeah. Okay. okay. <sighs> Let's just do this, man. I mean, I'm not gonna know if it's gonna work anyway since it's I felt locked. Yeah. I'm not even exactly sure how that went the crap there. Okay. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I don't know. I mean I don't know if this is gonna help you or not, but that's how that's how I removed it. 130 degrees on the PPD one twenty. And um the top layer should pop off fairly easily. And then um, 130 degrees again with some hot air, and it, and then the, the the harder layer pops off. So I think what we can do is probably even increase it a little bit more. So I think what I'm going to do maybe is take my other iCloud lock board and try it again one more time. Actually, I got a few boards here. Yeah, I've got like three boards. Okay. So, 